so looks like another hub game. I guess they do that to expand their collection, like make people watch their commercials more and spend more time on their site. Because it's something about revenue and ad space and stuff. So I guess it's not about like making quality games or but just about making games so not even games, but just quick time killers. Huh. And those sound effects seems to throw me off every time they play. Because like pee pee pee. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this game. It's obviously like clone a bit jeweled. But the thing is, I've never played Bitchill, so I don't know whether it's a good copy or not, or whether some things weren't original or just made up on the spot here. I know the basic principle is that you need to swap stuff and make copies of three or more, and it's something that was in Columns, but Columns was based, you know, around Tetris, but with a different idea in mind. And, you know, if you look at this game, it's completely not like Tetris. So, the main thing you're fighting against is this timer on the right. Because, you know, if it runs out, then it's game over and... This is the only way to lose. But to actually advance on the stage, you need to clear a certain type of tile. So right now, you see on the bottom screen, it says you need to clear like 25 hearts. But you know, my advice here is to not go for hearts, but just go for the nearest pair you spot. Because you know, the less time you spend fiddling about, the less this timer is going to affect your progress and it's it's dead straight on like later stages because you know you're just going to run out and there is no argument with this I think I got like as far as level four uh, level eight on my on my practice run. You know before I even notice what you're supposed to do in terms of like clearing certain stuff and making like cascades of fallen objects. And yeah, about those cascades. In this game you have to earn your power-ups to fulfill certain conditions. But I guess I'm going to talk about it when they appear. If they appear. No, I think I already caused a bunch of this. So let's see. Right now I don't see any that I can do. Nah. Yeah, plus if I'm going to spend time looking for them. Well, the timer will run out. So, the first thing, if you match 5 in a row, you get this little power up here. And it clears the line. And I guess I get this power up. The cannon is like the best power up in the game. <laughs> and there's the first one. Because it clears all of the tiles that you swap it with. So we can like have one gigantic clearing. And this power up it clears like a row. Like here here. And well it activates when you cl successfully clear like five objects in a row. And this is why it got it calls itself a cascade because you know you clear one after another and if you get five then you get this thing. 
And I should say those power-ups are nice because you do have to earn them during your gameplay. And they do their thing and... Well, they're cool. <laughs> yeah, those sound effects can get me a little frenzied. So let's go quickly, quickly. I don't know, maybe I'm... I'm thinking that, you know, pasting this game around time, it is acceptable. In fact, you know, it adds this mechanic of just hurrying up. And a lot of puzzles, like, do have time, which you need to work against. Because, you know, it's quick thinking and all this chess. But then again, you know, if, you know, the main thing you're fighting against this time, then it just falls into spot the stuff that you need to. Basically, it's spot a pair, not a pair, a three in a row that you can clear as quickly as you can. Because the more seconds you spend fiddling about, then the, the less time you're going to have. Cannon is great, you know, when you... Well, you need to clear up a certain tile, so, you know, if you get some kind of tile near the can just... Go for it. Because it gives you such a boost. played in the original. Mostly I guess I'm not very good at analyzing those games because I never own an iOS device or an Android in that matter. And I don't plan to. Because, you know, there isn't any need for them. Right now. Maybe later when, you know, they're going to be more popular than the handhelds in more of the mainstream industry. But I don't know how many years would it take to fulfill that obligation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am a little sick. Still. No, because you always get sick on holidays. It's just fate that brings such joys together. That was bad of me. Oh, come on. Sometimes I don't even know what I have to clear, you know, to get to the next stage. Because I don't even have time to look for it. Since I'm always searching for the next best pair. So not to get this timer to run out. I guess, you know, the more stages you clear, the less you're going to randomly cause a cascade, so... You do have to look for those really quickly. I mean, honestly, to me, timer didn't feel like a bother until, you know, it was too late. Or until I tried to play against this timer. Because before that I played like I didn't notice it at all. Or just didn't give this as much of an impression as it is.
Now then. Oh, I just screwed myself over. Or did I? Okay, stop that. Give me something to work with. I mean, I guess you need to work for, you know, your power-ups, because without them it's going to be a hell of a time. So maybe try to clear certain type of things, or just stay away from clearing certain type of things, so, you know, let it overwhelm it. Come on, let me get at least to level 8. So, you know, I could say I did about the same. Then my test run. It's the most thing I'd hate. I mean, I play this game while not recording and do good. Or I play any game while not recording and do good. And then, you know, it starts recording and it suddenly you rubbish at the game. Power-ups will save your life. At least the cannon will, because it feels like the quarter for the level so quickly. Sometimes I feel like I'm ruining the, my own setups. Or not my own setups, but the setups that just the game gives me. Okay, I need to do it in order to color a lot of those tiles. Now this commentary will just fall into random noises. Honestly, I don't know, it's chilled and it's funny. And I don't want to just, you know, stop this recording until I get to some kind of, like, well, justified ending. Which is basically me losing at this game. Because it is the game. And you lose every time. It's not an origin of this meme of the game, but it's still something to think about, you know. All those old Atari games, they didn't have like a justified ending, so you basically play until you die. And you will lose every time you play it. And just about how far you can go until you inevitably fail. But in all honesty, I don't like this game. Because. Well, I don't like to fail, that's for certain. Okay. Come on. Sometimes I'm just missing, you know, hitting certain tile. And I can't blame the game for it. It's my own blessed fault. Oh, I could have gone better there. But 
I saw it too late. Okay. Okay. And I'm saying okay a lot. No, that's just silly. That's how I get to level 8 at least. And this is where I die. Because honestly... Well, you need to consistently set up like cascades of things stuff to destroy. Or just look for something to fill out really quickly. talking because I'm just that concentrated on winning in the game where you cannot win it no is it philosophy I always get the best verb for just rambling about nothing Destroy your own power ups if you're stupid. <laughs> right now, I'm just. Yeah. You know, if you can just leave the cannon so it will clear the tile ups that you need to clear the level. I don't know, actually, know why you want to advance the level because, you know, the harder the level, the, more, the less time you get on the timer. And if the game is about getting high score, then you need to advance the level as late as possible, I suppose. Maybe it just gives you more score if you do so. Plus, you know, if you're gonna keep carrying combos and advancing, then you're going to achieve nothing. Oh no, I can't. Oh, that was really inappropriate of me. But what's done is done. Okay, there aren't so many hearts. So let's just leave this cannon alone for now. Ah, what the hell? Clear those hearts for me. Surprisingly, I do manage to keep this timer in the upper scale, so maybe I'll advance to level 9. Now I'm just silly. Is it? Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit hard to spot, you know, the closest pair because you are fixated on just one tile at a time. Or maybe that's just how my brain works. You see how much time I'm losing now? I mean, it's already dropped to half. Mere moments after I thought it would be okay. So yeah, in the reality you do have to wonder... Oh, come on. Clear. Yay, I didn't even use the cannon. Maybe I should have. So, level 9, I'm a clear and out presence. Nice. Okay, I'm going this way and... 
cannot clear anything here. Yeah, I'm trying to get the present to the cannon, but I cannot seem to find a way around it. Maybe it will find it eventually. I guess I can't say it. Don't try to like force your way into something, but just keep looking for the nearest pair you can get it. Otherwise, you're going to run out of time really quickly. Even now, I'm not sure if. Yeah, this present. Or is it? Okay, that was a little bit of a waste. But still, every single bit counts. Now I'm just going to destroy all the hearts. So that I maybe make... Indeed. Did help a bit. I mean, it managed to fill my timer, so... Maybe the other thing here is to just not use your... Well, special items. Yeah, one thing is if you take too long, the game will just will show you which, which to swap. So it keeps track, at least. Huh. I wonder if you can cannon the cannon and destroy all the cannons. But you know, you probably can, because it will be just a silly waste of cannons. Okay... Shoot. No, I don't have presents to destroy. Or do I? Yeah, I'm keeping this cannon. If I my timer gets too low. Maybe it looks easy, and it probably is. But the fact is that I have to be quick on my toes to get stuff done. Come on. Another cannon. Well, why not? Let's destroy all the presents. Let's destroy one more presents. Yeah. Now let's not go... Oh. I don't know what I was thinking there. Sometimes you just look for the line that aren't there isn't there. Like here. Because you know, with time it... It just gets to you, I suppose. Especially if you're trying to think fast. You know, your brain would just try to cut corners and do stuff that isn't supposed to be there. Oh, come on. Nothing. Oh, we 
have another can. How wonderful. Now I just need to have a cannon near the present and I'm down. So hooray, we got to level 10, at least. I mean, it's not a big achievement. I guess this game does its job, I mean, it's addictive as... It's not Cakebox, so you know, you get bored really quickly. Okay, what was that? Oh no. I'm losing track of things. I better get to work. So yeah, as I was saying... This... The game just keeps you on it, so you want to keep playing. So I'd give it an OK test. If I can get a heart here, I will get an angle and But now there's a cake in the way. Screw that. I need more time to think. You see now my co one commentary just goes everywhere because you now this game requires suddenly more concentration than I originally thought it would. Okay. No, sometimes you find like a perfect thing, but then the cascade just destroys it. So you need to be even quicker to find the next best thing. Destroy. Or maybe my chop. I don't want this cannon to be, you know, near the cake, so... It would go off and get all the cakes in the world. Because it always increases the number of things you have to get on each level. Oh my god, what was that? In the sound. Oh, now they're just giving me those without any back thought. I, mean, I didn't even look that I had a power up here, but I totally did. Sometimes I just wish things as random, it means that I don't even see if you know the moving. That I do will match up the things, and it does. And it feels like what the hell happened here? Sorry. It's a little bit late to play games. I mean, literally. It is late, and it's the last day of. I guess you can say holidays. So 
I have to get back in the working rhyme? Nah. So you know, my plan of life if I get on and better take every second that is available to you. And it's not a very good plan, I admit. But still, get all the tricks. Then get the cannon. Now get the kick near the cannon, I say. Okay, I can't match up this, but I can match up this. So then. Wow, we get to level 11. Well, know, probably no one would, you know, watch this this video this far in. Or maybe just one person, they know. So, this stuff makes me not bother giving like a proper analysis on the stuff. I'm just. I guess I could consider this talking to myself. And sometimes we all to talk to ourselves, under different guises and all. But thanks for sharing. This is considered like game making a pity for you when it shows you like the much and stuff. Because, you know, just one machine stuff isn't going to save your hide. Now think about it, you know, to increase difficulty you need to, like, introduce new kinds of tiles, so, you know, there would be different kinds of tiles on the screen at any given moment and thus you would you know ensure that it's getting more difficult to match them because right now it's a little bit of random whether you can match them or not oh no there's like let's get them out of the way no, I can't. Or can I? Yes, I can. Still, cannon is the best power-up in the game. And I guess this was intentional because the game is Pinkie Pie's party cannon or something like that. <laughs> I'm so into this game and it's so late that I can't even remember what I'm playing. How pathetic. So now the worst game that I've played here is I guess my junk. And the best no not this one. So this one's certainly nice. I guess you can say you know technically the best game there is is Well I just shut up in the middle of video. The best game there is on this hub world is adventure ponies. Because, you know, adventure ponies and stuff. And the fact that it was clearly created to appeal to the bronies everywhere. But you know, I'm going to be a little more out there and say adventures in Ponyville is better. Just because of an idea that there is. So it's not like technically better, but. It favors me more than Adventure Ponies do. You know, I guess if you refine the gameplay itself and make it, you know, about making those decisions that 
for an adventure using Pony Wheel. You know, and then you know, your pony advances accordingly. This would be just so much great of a game. You know, where basically the aim is to get, you know, your pony's character. Nice. Oh no. I'm panicking, I'm going to run out. I'm not thinking straight. Come on, stop it. wasn't the best course of action. So of course you're searching for pairs. Oh. Well. Well, that was a good run, I'd say. I mean, it clocks into the 40 minutes. Or 36 minutes to be precise, or 37 to be soon. But still.